So I'm in South Carolina and I just got off of I-20 and first McDonald's I've ever seen that actually has RV parking. Isn't this cool? Look at that. They have a section for RV parking. Yeah, designated. Pretty cool. Just thought I'd put it in there. Danny's in the car. I'm gonna go get a him a, get her a hamburger. Get her a hamburger. Get me a coffee. Been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin. And I know it's never gonna end. So I got lost down this long road. I made the wrong turn. And this this guy come out to greet me and say what the heck are you trying to do make a u-turn in that little cotton field over yonder yep what a sweetheart came all the way up to the fence to look at me very pretty feet hi everybody it's monday and this is my living room today where are you i am in south carolina and it's bishopville bishopville something like that bishopville south carolina and as i was riding along the interstate yesterday or whatever as i was riding along the interstate whatever day it was when i was driving along the interstate on i-20 heading to myrtle, myrtle beach i saw this sign that said lee county state park or lee lee state park and i had just entered into um, Lee County, South Carolina. So I used to work in Lee County, but I was in Florida and there's usually a Lee County in everywhere, you know. So I thought, I'm going to check out this state park. So I pulled over, got off the interstate at the exit that said Bishopville, and I pulled over to the side of the road and I pulled it up on the internet, had great internet connection pulled it up on the internet and checked out the prices. Now, I had been checking out prices for state parks from, you know, traveling through to um, Myrtle Beach. And most of the state parks were pretty expensive. They were more expensive than an RV park with a swimming pool and all those other, and laundry rooms and all those other amenities. But the, and it seemed like the closer I got to the water, the more expensive it got. I mean, it's a lot of money like to play 50 bucks for a state park that really doesn't have any amenities, you know, that will power and water, but power and water. <laughs> so then I, I looked this one up and it was $18 a night, which it's not really in my budget to be staying in, in a park in an RV park all the time. I try to boondock as much as possible in uh, dispersed camping or in boondocking BLM land. But I thought I was gonna treat myself. One of my viewers and supporters of my channel gave me a nice little tip for my tip jar. And um, I thank you very much, you know who you are. And I don't know that they want me to say their name, so I'm not going to. But it was enough to pay for the park. So I decided to treat myself to the park. And then also I still had a little money left for gas. So that's what I'm doing. I'm staying at the park here um, for two nights. And it was $38 for two nights. Now over here, right over there, in the back there that is the one of the bathrooms this there's really not much here, here it's way off the beaten track and on my way here I made the wrong a wrong turn as you probably saw at the beginning of the video and I had to make a u-turn in the middle of a two-lane road where there was really not much of a space to make a u-turn at but I managed it so I wanted to show you how beautiful it is here. It's simple and um, there's hardly anybody here. There's a few campers here. I did have an opportunity to speak with the uh, the park host who was here. It was from Pennsylvania who was camping here for the NASCAR races and boom, voila, next thing you know it, they were campground hosts. 
because they needed a campground host here. It's very simple. It's just like a little forest that they made little roads in and they've covered up potholes and it's not too bad, but it's also um, equestrian. Uh, it has equestrian sites. So there's some really big sites for you to pull your rig in and you could bring your horses here. It's a little, the sun is coming through the trees. The trees are really tall. Look at that. Check those out. But the bugs weren't too bad. They're not too bad last night or today. But they're here. They're kind of like pine trees. Some kind of pine. Um, and so a combination of different kinds of trees. But I was going to take a little walk. Each campsite has a, a power and water. And they are just recently started putting in sewer. So you can just hook your... Um, sewer up and you don't have to worry about it. but they do have a dump for the people that have sites that don't have dump or people who um, want to stay on primitive sites I'm not sure how many primitive they have but they have a lot of equestrian sites and I'm going to show you the corral right here behind me there's I'm still in my pajamas <laughs> because there's nobody here it's not a big deal I mean anybody who's really you know look at that all the corrals for the horses behind me. Plenty of corrals here for your horses. Should you, should you want to bring your horses here? There's a lot of corrals. And there's a water hose to, to water your horses. And then there's another big, huge um, bathroom over there in that building. And the bathrooms are older, but they're very clean. And in this campsite area, there's a huge fire pit over here, like for a community fire. They uh, say there was a group of people with their horses wanted to have a um, a big campfire. Yeah. So, and here they even get, they, you got a hose. They supply the hose for the water, and you can make sure your horses' troughs are filled. So each side has um, a picnic table and a fire ring. All the corrals have buckets for your horses, water troughs, you know, so you could put your horses, have water for your horses. It's really kind of a neat place in the middle of nowhere. And when I say in the middle of nowhere, it's the middle of nowhere. There's nothing out here. Um, there's not a store for a long way. So you'd want to make sure that if you came here, you had everything you need. Of course, I wasn't ready. To, I didn't know I was coming here. But I'm usually pretty well stocked up. And the water's not that bad. It doesn't smell like eggs or anything. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, you can't ride your horses around inside the park because they have the no horse riding. Yeah, see, trailer horses, trailer horses only beyond this point. So past this point here, when we leave the um, equestrian area, you have to have your horses in the trailer and not, yeah. So there's not very many people here. Probably, let's see, one, two. There's about seven or eight people on this end of the camp. And there's 25 spaces over here. And on the other end, in the equestrian site, there's only one RV over there. And it's a Class C. It's a huge Class C. Way, way hidden in the corner. Hidden in the back. Right there. Can't even see it there. So, even though the road is right here, right in front of us, there's a road. You can't really see it because of the trees. But the road goes along here, a little road. Not very much traffic. There'll be a car now and again that'll come. And then campground host, of course, is right at the beginning. There's the restroom with showers. It's sandy. Um, nothing is paved. Uh, so if it rains, it would probably be pretty muddy here. 
but it's dry today. Actually, I have some sap on my car, so I'm going to try to wash that off and rinse off my car today. And you can see the they've fixed up the holes, you know, anywhere where there might be a few pot hole kind of things. Uh, this person here is coming back. They, they had somebody here earlier and last night. Yeah. So it's kind of a neat place. That's our little camp over there. But today, I, I mean, yesterday was how I have my air conditioning on, but today I just have the windows open. Danny's inside. I slept great last night. And I have TV, TV reception. <laughs> yeah, I was just watching um, I think it was NBC or CBS or ABC. I don't remember. It's a major channel. Whatever um, Kelly and Ryan, it just came on. And Yoda was on when I first turned on the TV just to have some noise in the, in the camper. Now, they say they have a little camp store. It must be in the building where you sign in and register. But, um, and it's supposed to be open all day. And if you need ice, you talk to the campground host. Or if you need firewood, you talk to the campground host. So $18 for a full hookup is a pretty, pretty good price. Pretty good price. And the campsite is nice and clean. <clears throat> Even where you're, they may have had a campfire before you. I mean, they clean it up really nice. Bathrooms smell really nice, too. Yeah, so I may be washing my car today and getting some of the sap off of it from the last place I was at. So you can see the sap on the window. i got to get that off of there and on my paint. So maybe that's what I'll do today. And there's the road right out there. And the... The dump is off that side road, right outside the park. Very simple, but very pretty and secluded. So if you like being secluded, this is a good place. It's right off of I-20, Bishopville, South Carolina, between Columbia and Myrtle Beach. What are you what are you doing over there? Huh? I took her for a nice walk. What you doing, Danny? Yeah. We got up late today. I hope you guys have everybody has a great day.